This is our target building. We got two windows on the right. There's a door on the left. And we're gonna take our rear element and push you guys on the left-hand side of that wall. Get ready for a push up to the door. We got you guys covered as you move. Let's do it. Okay. Contact. Contact in the building. Cover your windows, rear element, push up to the door on the left. Hold that position while we create a distraction on the right hand side. Eric, I'm right behind you. Moving. I hear, I hear him inside. inside. Yep. Oh, contact right up front. Door team hold, Eric push in. Going. Door team, get ready to breach in three, two, one, go. Contact. Point man, give us a read on what we're looking at here. Two story building, a big open courtyard, a uh, couple doors, lots of windows, everything's buttoned up pretty tight. Uh, bars on the windows. Just gotta get up closer to get a better look. All right, let's all push up to the wall together. Go. All right, I'm taking a peek here. Yep, windows are boarded up pretty tight, but we do have two vines on the left. So, uh, Poiman's gonna provide security on the left-hand side where our real element goes into position for a top-down approach. And we'll follow up afterwards. Copy. Ready, guys? Move. Moving. 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 I got your windows for now. Okay, I got security. Alright, there's contact inside. You guys can move up in three, two, one, up. Roof is clear, we've got two doors. Alright, I'm go. moving into position with you. Moving up. Alright, ready to climb in three, two, one, coming up. I got the door on the left. Let me know when you're ready. Yep, I'm on left hand side. You guys are gonna push right. Ready, breach in three, two, one, go. I'm going, Eric. Light on. Contact. Contact downstairs. Another one? Moving down the down. stairs. Yep, I got you covered up top. Right. right behind you, Eric. Friendly's in the living room. Friendly's living room. On the right, Eric. On the right. Nice. Ooh -wee, look at this. Planning charge. You know, when I first heard about this game, I always thought that it was, you know, interesting that the way that they launched, they showed off a bunch of cinematics and said that it was going to come out the same year. I was pretty skeptical because how often do games show off cinematics in a gameplay trailer and then say they're going to release in the same year? I was like, nah, there's no freaking way. And I ended up being right because the game was announced like a little over two years now. And now they're finally getting around to actually showing real gameplay, which you just saw at the beginning there. But the gameplay also came with this article. So to put it in perspective, we're just going to go ahead and read through it and go over the videos as they come up so let's just go ahead and hop into it with sit rep entry tactics you're entering through a fatal funnel and you don't know what's waiting on you they're in there just waiting on you to make the wrong move which is to come through the door corporal dane thompson march 31st 2023 welcome to the seventh entry of our sit rep developer diary series until now we have demonstrated very direct fire team entry into houses and larger buildings kicking down the front door certainly is an option but it's not the only option in six days today we want to expand on the entry methods and tactics available to players. Please remember that all assets shown are currently a work in progress. It certainly looked like it, but it continues on to say, since six days in Felucia's inception, we've spoken with more than 
than 100 marines and soldiers who have shared their very specific and unique experiences in combat. No two combat scenarios have been the same, however. There is one consistent among every story that's been shared with our development team. The Fatal Funnel is urban combat's worst nightmare. The Fatal Funnel is not only a narrow entrance that leaves little room for maneuverability, it's also easily defended by the enemy inside. Our attackers are tasked with forcing an entry that's not only tight, but offers little to no visibility inside. Enemy opposition, on the other hand, have all the cards at their disposal. They have complete visibility on infiltrators, and their degree of coverage is minuscule compared to that of the attacking force. The odds for those entering the Fatal Funnel are very bad. Up next is a quote. The problem is that if you walk out there, the moment your head breaks the doorway, he could shoot you in the head. It's just combat geometry. First Lieutenant Jesse Grapes. Belusia's rough. Urban environment included thousands of Fatal Funnels, and Marines had to take first steps into the unknown with every single building they cleared. The biggest question for these Marines often became, how do we break this geometry? The Fatal Funnel is inevitable when house clearing, but there are specific tactics employed by Marines and soldiers designed to mitigate as much risk as possible. A theme we heard from many Marines and soldiers was avoiding the Fatal Funnel by finding alternate ways into the house. So based on specific stories, we created specific methods in the game for players to climb to rooftops. Hey, ready or not, take notes. As well as enter through windows, both of which we've heard examples of happening repeatedly during the battle. We've touched briefly on the OODA, Observe, Orient, Decide, Act, loop in a previous entry, and we want to remind everyone again of the methodology that applies when house clearing. Before breaching a building or compound in Fallujah, it's essential to take a moment to pause, listen, and observe across the fire team. How many windows does the building have? Are insurgents visible from the outside of the compound? What material is the door made of? Can you hear anyone inside? For today's diary, players observe a two-story building that has two valid entry points to the front with alternate entries at the rear. The fire team orients itself and decides that the best course of action is not to funnel four members of the fire team into a single door, but instead to split up the team for a simultaneous entry, dividing the team into two groups of two. The teams assault the building with overwhelming speed and precision at the very same time. Here, the fatal funnel becomes less fatal as it's now a split between two entries instead of one. Enemy insurgents, while intelligent with the home base advantage, aren't expecting an attack on two fronts. The key words here are distraction and disorientation. Enemies that are disoriented are more easily defeated, and Six Days AI system will cause enemies to become disoriented when exposed to multiple threats. While this isn't always a guarantee for success, split entry certainly pushes the needle back in the direction of the Marines. While this is just one example of clearing a building in six days, procedural architecture offers a variety of possibilities that will fundamentally change the way players approach house clearing. You may find yourself without a door and a window, and instead, there may be two doors. Alternatively, an entry from the rear could pose a viable distraction, while full frontal assault, led by two Marines, breaks out in the front yard. The remaining two Marines may lead a precision takedown from the backyard. Split entry still applies here, but the means of which the employed varies, and it's entirely up to the player to decide. So this is interesting. Although, I thought that this game would be a little more open world. It feels kind of like a set area that you have to go to, I assume. I kind of hope that they show up a bit more of the map, because they did show, like, procedurally generated maps. But it makes me wonder if it's one of those things where you start off in this one place, and then you do, like, an area you clear out, kind of like Ready or Not a little bit. I kind of hope it's not like that. I hope that there's a bit more, you know, open areas for us to look through, and actually see multiple squads of other Marines around, you know? It's not just us clearing one building. But yeah, aside from that, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just look through the video here. I kind of already showed it off at the beginning, so I'm just gonna run through the things that I see. But obviously, this is Six Days of Fallujah pre-beta gameplay footage, which actually doesn't look that bad. So first thing I gotta say about this is that the game actually looks really good. Surprisingly better than uh, what I've seen before. The only thing that I kind of dislike is like the the character models a little bit like i don't know maybe they feel just a bit dated to me the third person character models i don't know just feel off to me but i mean they're not like terrible you know they look pretty good for the most part i just i just feel like they they're a bit off my personal opinion but the first person mode like the guns and stuff that looks pretty good um the only thing that i kind of dislike is how many times he does the uh point shooting which i see which seems to be like a standard but i think the reason why he's doing the point shooting stuff is because he has a scope right here i could be wrong but it's interesting to say the least like what i said earlier i kind of hope that this is actually a thing where we could go in and check like every building instead of just like one or two like i hope it's not just like a ready or not type game where we just like spawn in and we're only checking like one building i do hear a vehicle in the background 
Do we drive that vehicle? That's interesting. But we got two windows here that you can clearly see inside. So it's making it so that you could actually see the bad guys or catch a glimpse of them. Maybe they're going to be able to see us too. You could definitely see a bad guy through this window right here if you were standing over here. I just noticed, is this guy like, this guy's like crouching, right? And this guy's kind of doing like a bit of a crouch too. So is there kind of like multiple crouches that you could do or is it just this guy's standing and this guy's crouching? I'm not too sure. But anyways, get some gut shots. So this guy has an LMG over here. This guy has, uh, I think an M16, I think, or an M4, I can't tell. I, I don't remember the, what, what was the main weapon that they used in, uh, Lusia? Yeah, it is the M16. Okay, cool. I was right. I like how this is showing a lean right here, but I'm not sure if that's like one of those. That's like a big lean. Not going to lie, but I really like the way that that looks. So we got these two guys that are pushing up on the left side here. I like how the stuff like moves on his belt right there like the stuff's moving back and forth like jiggle physics basically oh we see got, we got a bad guy right here and this guy starts to shoot at him completely missing him i like how he ends up talking to him with this radio right here that's pretty cool so we got a vaulting system that's something that i feel ready or not definitely needs sometimes i like that vaulting definitely a lot faster than the previous ones that i've seen oh that flashlight looked weird I see that again. Is it because he was looking that way? Because that looked weird. Is this guy like playing on a controller? I swear, man. So that was pretty cool. He didn't check his quarter there, but aside from that, pretty cool. I really like how it's giving you a bunch of options to go about a building. They could definitely um, go in through the backside, it seems, which is pretty cool. Makes me wonder if uh, you have to worry about people that are like, you know, across the street if you decide to go like behind the building, kind of alone out there. It makes it so that you can't just like, you know, go to the back of the building all the time. And that'd be kind of cool. You have to like clear out that first building before you push on. But continuing on here, let's consider another scenario. Players assess that the fatal funnel on the front door is a device option the backyard is too heavily defended or doesn't present enough cover all of the windows are barricaded and offer no entry points how do you proceed oh well, this might actually answer my question the logic behind it is that you don't want to create a trapped rat when you clear from the bottom up enemies have nowhere else to go so they're more inclined to stay and fight to the death then if you're going top down and they have the opportunity to either fight you or when they fear they're going to die just run and leave, then you can still take over the building. Sergeant Adam Bonotai. Interesting last name. But anyways, enemies almost always prepare their defenses against door entries on the first floor. Very frequently, they create and make ship barricades out of rubble, furniture, and anything else they could find. Then, they laid in wait with their weapons trained on the front door. Clearing from top down allows players to defeat enemy defenses that are oriented towards the main floor. It can also catch insurgents inside by surprise, as Sergeant Onotai suggests. If you clear from top down, Six Days AI can even push insurgents into the streets, depending on the situation, when they might get engaged by nearby AAV or other vehicles. Okay, so they are saying here that there might be other units in the area, which would make sense, right? Like, they would have just said one squad out there alone, would they? I mean, would they? I don't know. There are many ways in six days to access top floor buildings from the outside. In some cases, there will be planks connecting rooftops between buildings and others. There are staircases available. Additionally, Marines and soldiers were able to either climb or hoist each other up a floor. And we're including this third method for rooftop entry by indicating multiple walls with green binary. These provide access to the second and third floor levels, but it's important to remember your character is vulnerable to incoming fire while you complete the vaulting animation. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you're carrying a bunch of gear on you. I imagine it's not going to be easy vaulting over something, at least not right away. But yeah, up next is that video that I showed you at the beginning. We're not going to watch it all the way through. We're just going to, you know, comment on things and uh, yeah, just go ahead and hop into it. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is how they actually show up a transport troop vehicle right here. I'm not sure what this is called. I think they said AAV or yeah. AAV. So that's pretty cool. They're showing off what the transport vehicle might look like. I wonder if there's like a big gun on the top right there. This looks like a British vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. So one thing that I really like about this is that they're actually... Wait, hold on. Did I see that again? So he puts his hand right here on his walkie-talkie. And you can actually see his, his face moving up and down. 
because he's talking that's kind of cool so he's talking right there he's trying to talk about what's going on in this house here saying that it's like a second floor there's a couple of windows and stuff for you to hop onto so there's like vines right here that indicate places that a player can climb up so this right here and this right here so that's cool this little environmental thing right there i like the way that he's holding his gun right there when he's talking that's a pretty cool aav i wonder if you, we can like get in and drive around with it all right so they're pushing up right here i'm trying to see where these other guys come from are they behind him He's telling other guys to like go right now and um, get up on this roof basically. There's like a bunch of like vines right here where you can climb over. And there's some in the background right there. So I'm guessing that we're just clearing out like an entire section of a map I would say. At least that's if I had to guess. Alright so we got three different guys right here. I really like this climbing animation but holy hell that is one hell of a jump right there. Like he had to like put his foot right there to hop up even further. That's pretty cool. Once again our guy with the LMG. Man that guy hoisted that thing up there. Oh, was he getting shot at right there? Was that like a, what was it? I saw like some shots go out right there, but either from like a different building or I don't know, somebody was shooting at it. Maybe they're shooting at the AAV. That sounds like it's hitting metal from behind. Well, let's see what it looks like in first person. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that's one hell of a jump. I kind of don't like how they kick it in from like the front right there because you get like a bunch of seconds to stand there. But man, does the interior of this house look pretty good. Dare I say gorgeous? Man, that AI really missed that guy right there, didn't he? Or maybe like you could just take as many bullets. Like, look at, look at. Like, these guys are like point blank right here. And like, this dude like shoots him and just barely misses him. Jeez. Oh man, we find the mother loading here. What's this? These are like shells right here, a bunch of AKs, propane tanks. That's probably C4 plastic explosive over there. You got a bunch of mortar rounds and what are those mines maybe? Anti-personnel mines. These are mortar mortar rounds right here, I think. Man, look at all this stuff. And I like how he actually calls it in right here. And you can hear like the voiceover some rpg rounds right here i think i guess they're just gonna plant an explosive and just blow the hell out of it wouldn't you want to like take this stuff though make sure that it's fully destroyed i'm no expert so maybe transporting all of that stuff would be a good idea but man that's gonna make one hell of an explosion if you have to blow it up but, all right that's pretty much it for that what are your guys thoughts let me know down in the comments moving on to the last set of text here these are just some of the many ways players can tackle house clearing with procedural architecture presenting a variety of geographical obstacles and fire team tactics left up to the player's choice no two entries are going to be the exact same in six days just like actual combat players will never know what to expect and that's pretty much it for six days of Fallujah. pretty nice to see way more gameplay this time around we're actually seeing some stuff on how the game works would definitely love to see more of that game still looks like it's very early 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 could definitely use more time in the cooker but uh yeah what are you guys thoughts let me know that's where i'm probably gonna end the video and uh yeah be sure to like subscribe and do all that jazz and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye